Hey everybody, welcome to another Seed Spotlight from uh, your buddy Matt at Mythic Gaming. This one is uh, pretty unique, and you know what? I didn't even find it. This was actually submitted to me by, I want to get her, her name correct, but I know I'm going to mess it up. I believe it's Renoka at MinecraftForum.net. She sent me the seed and told me I should check it out, and so here I am. And it was awesome enough, and I'm going to bring it to you, so let's get right into it. As always, I have found myself a nice little village to perch myself on, and I will give you the map, because I know a lot of people tend to uh, like that, and not a lot of people remember to do it, so I'm glad I can, uh, you know, work with you on that one, and, and yeah, all that fun stuff. But as you can see, pretty nice map. It does have three villages. We will be visiting them, as always. Not a bad breakdown. Um... It does have a mushroom island, if you notice, a little bit north of me. Right at the top there is a mushroom island, so you've got everything here. And now I'm going to tell you this because I'm not going to show it all to you because, I mean, finding it is really fun. But there is a double dungeon underground somewhere, at least one of them. A few glitch dungeons and uh, all kinds of other great stuff for you to find. So besides the surface, this map has a really nice underground too. But with that said, this is obviously your first village. You can see it's one of the smaller ones, not a, a big deal, but, you know, village is a village, like I always say. I like them, I think they add a lot to the uh, the look of the surface, and they give it more life, so I'm not going to turn it down. But the biggest village on the map is going to be this next one right over here. It's in the plains, which is probably my favorite of the villages. I do like the plains villages better. I don't know if it's the surroundings, but I'm a very big fan of them, and I'm a huge fan of this one, because, as you can see already... It's built on top of a nice little, like a hill. It's right on a hilltop. you got a house all the way down here. The majority of the village is up here. A very large village. And uh, yeah, I just like the way it is. And you come on the other side and it's kind of down in this little, uh, I don't know, this little valley if you want, I guess. A little farm built into the wall. And got a nice cave underneath to go exploring in. I really do enjoy this village. This is one of the, the nicer villages I've seen, actually. And uh, before I forget, let me give you coordinates so you know exactly how to get here. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm a, a huge fan of the Plains Villages. I'm hoping when the next update comes out, they have the Sandstone Village for the desert. Because I really like the look of those, but... You know, the, the Plains Village in the desert, like we've got now, just doesn't really seem to fit for me. So I'm thinking the Sandstone one will be uh, better. And I'm really hoping they add in those Desert Temples and, you know, Desert Pyramids and Jungle Temples. Because... Those just look like a, a ton of fun to go find and explore, so I'm really hoping for that because I'd love to find some great seeds that incorporate that into uh, all the other awesome features I tend to come across. But before we get to this last village, I should shoot right over here and show you that the Stronghold is also very close to the Plains Village. Coordinates, as always, are right here, which is nice. I mean, you got this nice big village, and Stronghold right next to it, kind of central location of the map. Not a bad setup, to be honest. I'm going to go down here just to show you it is here, and there you are. This is one of those weird, all jacked up libraries. I'm seeing a lot of these in this update to where they're just cut off. You know, sometimes it's only this banister, or sometimes it's only, you know, two bookshelves. It, it's just really odd, and then I don't think this one even has a chest. Yeah, see, even the chest wall is gone, so, and there's no way in. It's just like a freestanding library. So what you gotta do is you just break your way through these walls and you'll get to the rest of the stronghold. Just, I'm not sure if this is a bug or not, but I am seeing this a lot. Kind of depressing, but it really doesn't take away from the seed. I just wanted to point that out, that you will have to do a little digging around there to get to the rest of the stronghold. But yeah, it's really strange. But that is not why we're on this seed. We're on this seed for what is at this last village, all the way down here in the desert. Which, oddly enough, is actually where you spawn, so... It seems like we've traveled a long way to get there, but in all honesty, you spawn right around this general area somewhere. So what you do is you come over here, and you've got another really nice village. I'll give you coordinates for the, the blacksmith, seeing as it does have one. But yeah, so you've got these nice, uh, nice big village right here at spawn. You know, it's pretty stretched out, got a lot of room. I'm sure you can get some iron golems naturally spawning here real easy. And oh yeah, I almost forgot since it's a new thing I'm doing, I should show you what's in the blacksmith chest. So if you don't want to see, go ahead and look away right now and I'll pop this open for you real quick. Not too shabby, I mean, not horribly amazing, but you know what, nothing wrong with that. But as I was saying, yeah, this is spawn village, nice big village, probably get some iron golems going. A couple goodies here in the blacksmith. But the best part is if you come here and you look left, I'm sure you can already see the outlines in glowstone. 
there is an underwater double dungeon here, which is uh, pretty rare. And you can see they are close enough to where you can get both spawners spinning at the same time. I mean, they're probably just close enough, but they are definitely really close to that mark. Now, yeah, I'm going to say they, they should have at least one square that can get both of them spinning. I mean, even if you can't, how often do you have two underwater dungeons right next to a village? I, I mean, it's pretty tricky. I'll even go down there and show you what's going on in here. So go down this one, you can see I've marked it off. This was obviously all flooded to begin with. Come down here, you got a, a zombie spawner, a couple chests. I will take a look in the chests right now so you can see what's in there. So again, if you guys aren't interested and want to find out yourself, just go ahead and look away for a couple seconds and I'll let you know when it's all good. Alright, and now moving on to Dungeon 2, which I believe is a skeleton dungeon, which would be awesome to have, you know, zombie and skeleton right here. Kind of pick your poison type of deal. Let's see, go down in here. Yep, it is a skeleton. And yeah, again, this one was all flooded. I had to clean it all out. I put the glowstone on top of all that fun stuff. And again, I will do the chest. So again, if you don't want to know, just look away really quick. And there you go. That's what's in them. Not a bad start, seeing as this is right by spawn. You've got two chests in each dungeon. you got the blacksmith. And I'm sure there's all kinds of awesome things underground over here. I just haven't really gotten into this section because this section is obviously its biggest feature was going to be all this. But yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of great stuff here. So again, this seed, I want to thank uh, Ronoka, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, on MinecraftForum.net uh, for sending me this. This is a really great seed and I really appreciate it. I'm glad you allowed me to make a video of it and bring it to everybody. So, with that said, as always, if you have any seeds you want to send me or want me to do videos on, go ahead and let me know and I'll, I'll take a look. And if they fit the bill, I will definitely make videos on them. I know a few of you guys have already submitted some seeds and I have gone through a few of them, but I still have some more to go. So, if I haven't made a video out of a seed you know you've sent me or I haven't said anything to you yet, it's just I haven't gotten to them yet. I've been a bit busy this week, as you can see. My video schedule was a little behind. I wasn't able to get any out of on Wednesday, I haven't hit, so it's been a week. So yeah, I've been a bit busy, but I will get to them. So go ahead and keep submitting them. And I will always be sure to give you credit for whatever you find. I just like making videos of awesome seeds. That's all there really is to it. So with that said, um, if you like the video, go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, I will talk to you guys next time with another great seed.